Hey guys, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Welcome to Lime Rock Park in Connecticut for the Northeast Grand Prix. Now, if you weren't lucky enough to be here with us, here's what you missed. The 2019 Northeast Grand Prix at Lime Rock Park lived up to its nickname, the Bull Ring, as this year's GT-only competition on one of America's most famous tracks saw cars up and down the field duking it out for a spot on the top of the podium. At only one and a half miles long, Lime Rock Park could fit inside many of the other tracks on the IMSA calendar, which is why only the cars in the GT Le Mans and GT Daytona classes run here. The tightness of the track leads to incredible racing, which was on display right from the checkered flag, as numerous cars rubbed fenders and fought for track position, landing some off the track. While racing throughout the scorching hot July day resulted in no major incidents, the number 48 Paul Miller Racing Lamborghini, the number 911 Porsche 911, and Acura NSX all found themselves running out of room going into and out of the Sam Posey Strait. The battle in GT Le Mans was intense throughout the afternoon between the number 67 Chip Ganassi 4 GT of Ryan Briscoe and Richard Westbrook and the number 912 Porsche 911 of Lawrence Van Thor and Earl Bamber, who rubbed fenders and did whatever they could to maintain track position. It wasn't until just a few minutes left in the race that the Ford's strategy of pitting for a fresh set of tires paid off and Westbrook was able to literally squeeze by Bamber's Porsche 911 for the win. The 912 ended up coming in second, extending its championship lead ahead of last year's winners Joey Hand and Dirk Mueller in the number 66 Ford GT. But the most exciting finish was in GT Daytona. Mario Farnbacher and Trent Hinman have been dominant this year in their number 86 Meyershank Racing Acura NSX. And Lime Rock Park was no different as the two drivers managed to keep their car in the front of the field for most of the race. But with just a handful of laps remaining, the Acura found itself stuck in lap traffic. Sensing the opportunity, Dennis Olsen and the number 9 FAF Motorsports 911 made a daring dive inside and got ahead of the Acura. But it wasn't over yet. Olsen punctured a tire in his 911 with just one lap remaining, and Hindman and the Acura managed to close the gap going into the final turn. With a tire going down, Olsen brought his car to the line a mere hundredth of a second ahead of Hindman. Olsen and teammate Zach Robichon collected their first win of the year ahead of Hindman and Farnbacher. Well, that's a wrap on the Northeast Grand Prix, but stay tuned to ZF Motorsports on Facebook and Instagram for more racing news.